Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the newest banner that's dropped for Halloween. That is featuring Yuffie, and it's just Yuffie. So there is only one on this banner, which makes it a little bit easier to go over. We'll kind of get right into it. I'll start with the uh, Nanaki Mantle, and that seems to be very similar to everything that we've had thus far, um, you know, lately with the Eerie Mask and all that which is basically the magic defense plus 15%, HP plus 5%. If you like to play Yuffie or, you know, maybe want to play her at all, that alone is a good R ability in many, many circumstances. Frostblade Arcanum, always going to be useful for any ice setups. And this is going to be ice, but magic. <clears throat> um, right now, I, I've, it's kind of hard for me to keep track of exactly what everybody has. I think Glenn's was physical. Uh, Cloud, I don't remember if he's got a magical. I think it might be magical ice. But a lot of my team is physical ice, and then I've got Sephiroth for magic. This little red wreath is going to be magic ice, and it's going to be one of those very high seeability damage ice weapons, which would make it really good. It's going to be better than edged wings, um, but whether or not you really want to invest in it if you're free to play or light spender my guess is if you have ob10 edged wings this may not be the best for you um because you're just kind of building over the top of something else you already have which i think is inevitable in this game at some point you know once the power creep gets in really really deep but that's kind of up to you to decide at the moment so the first thing i want to do is show the Tom Ram card for five star to OB1. And you can see here, it goes up from 520% on the C ability to 620%, giving you that, you know, 100% jump. But with the 1.2x multiplier, it's actually more than that. So still a quite good pickup, uh, even at just OB1, because 620 times 1.2 is 744. And a weapon like Edged Wings caps out at OB10 at 800%. So you're really, really close to as good as that weapon from a C ability standpoint just by getting it to OB1. And as we go up here, uh, you know, OB6, you're at 780, which is pretty nice. And kind of the other thing about this weapon is that what you're mostly getting after OB1 is just this. It's not like there's an extra thing that happens, you know, as far as another C ability or a buff, debuff, anything like that. So it's very straightforward. And at OB10, you get 940% magical ice damage, already eclipsing something like Edged Wings. And as long as you have the debuff to the target, you're looking at 1128%. The R abilities are extremely standard. 4639 is like, I would say that is on par, you know, that is the standard for most weapons. So unless it's higher or lower than this, we wouldn't really be taking much note of that. It's got a sigil break, which is something that Yuffie normally lacks. So I think that's pretty good. And I will also, in comparing this to Edge Wings, I think Edge Wings is something like 540 physical attack and like 640 or 520, 640, somewhere in their magic attack. So it does have, I think, better magic attack stats as well. Like I said, this is maxed out. But doing those comparisons, you know, you can see that it just eclipses something like Edged Wings. However, for me personally, um, because I have Edged Wings and it's, you know, OB10 and I have that built up, that is something that I'm definitely, I'm going to hold off on this banner. I'm not, I'm not pulling for this. I don't think it makes enough of an impact on my account at this point, at least based on what we've been seeing on banners. I'm looking for things that do more than just some DPS unless it's a massive, massive swing. Uh, as far as the outfit, I think it looks pretty good, uh, actually. Um, I love that it's got the, the black and orange. Uh, the wreath is a little bit, I mean, I don't know, I'd rather see something like that at Christmas, but I don't actually think it's bad at all. I think, I think they did a good job aesthetically with this. The other thing that I wanna point out is with the stamp card, this time we're looking at volume two on the vouchers and I do finally know what that means. The other day I was messing around with the exchange and if you go here, you can see volume one, volume two vouchers. And basically what you can do is also get old costumes. 
So Glenn's Pumpkin Mare and the Black Hound for Zack. Those are the additional options for those Volume 1 vouchers. And for Volume 2, you can get Bandage Coat from Cloud or Dark Harbinger for Sephiroth. Obviously, Sephiroth was the only one that I got during Halloween, so I already have that one closed out. But I do think that's really neat because a lot of people, you know, have, have always wanted to be able to go back and get other outfits. I think this is actually kind of a perfect way to do it because you can pull for the stuff, but if you go to two pages, if it's a weapon you really want, the fact that now, instead of having to say, like normally, if this was a single banner, there's just really nothing here for you, nothing big. Being able to pick up old costumes, I think that's a silver lining, and I think it's something that's pretty nice. The only other thing I would say about uh, Yuffie's weapon here is just that um, kind of a strong a strong player on our Discord, uh, he basically compared this to Vincent Ice, and I think that that is a very solid comparison. So I do think that, you know, it could be very useful. The only other thing I would note is that right now, I think Yuffie only has two other... Um, ice potency weapons, which doesn't particularly matter because you only really need one if you're building her for straight ice DPS. If you're going to put something in her secondary main hand, you know, type weapon slot, whatever you want to call it. I usually just call it a secondary uh, slot. And one of those is physical attack up here instead of magic, uh, which is not the most helpful for that setup. But then the pinwheel actually gives HP and ice potency which I think is pretty good. Um, maybe not quite as good in some situations as having the, you know, magic attack or something else that's going to boost her ability to do damage, but I think HP is perfectly fine. Uh, so she does have stuff in her kit already that can pair well with this. And I know this was pretty short and sweet, but that's really all I have to say other than noticing that if you look at uh, some of the other changes they've made here, they are adding um, to the R abilities of those old outfits. And so noticing that they're basically making the boost HP go up. It's small, but hey, it, it means something. It's better than nothing. So those old outfits, I still use Dark Harbinger, for example, on Sephiroth every time I need wind. Anyway, that's about everything I have. I'm curious to know what you guys think about having uh, Yuffie so soon again after a anniversary. I know if you love Yuffie, I'm sure you're very happy about it. Uh, I'm not sure about the rest. I don't I don't have any problem with it because it seems like they're trying to squeeze in three or possibly four banners for Halloween. And I'm always a fan of having more options and being able to cater to different players who prefer different characters. I think that's a great thing for the game. And that's where I hope they're going. I hope they're going to try to squeeze in as many banners as possible so that we can kind of pick and choose which characters we want to build. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support, and as always, thanks for watching.